Look at this beauty. Tempting enough? Hi guys, it's your girl Jazz and in this video we are going to test this Pillsbury's Choco Idli Cake. Let's see if it fulfills its promise and if it is as chocolatey and easy as shown in the illustration. Let's read the instructions together. It says the first step is empty the contents of pack in a bowl. Fill milk inside the empty pack till indicated mark. Add the milk and 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil to mix and stir well to form a smooth batter. I opened it because I just wanted to taste it a little. So it says that if you empty the whole packet, this is the mark till where you are supposed to fill the milk and 2 tablespoons of vegetable oil to create a smooth batter. You will be needing your idli mold which you need to coat a little bit with the oil so that your idlis come out easily and do not stick which we actually do in the other processes when we make the idli. Pour water in idli cooker which I don't have. So basically this is idli cooker cake but I am going to make it in microwave like I make my idlis in microwave. In case you would want to use a cooker, just pour some water below the level of your idli maker and then cover it and steam it and your idlis should be ready in 30 minutes. But my idlis in microwave gets cooked within 1.5 minutes and to ensure that I have moist heat inside, I usually keep a cup of water inside so that it also gets heated and evaporated and the steam makes my cakes or idlis very soft and spongy and that's exactly what I'm going to try with this Pillsbury choco chip idli cake the name itself is so very tempting if I take the whole batch I will not be able to finish it by my own self so I have decided to take it as much as I need for let's say four idlis so I'm pouring it here to have an idea about the quantity I need to use and how do I decide how much I need for two idlis? Actually, I have this, you know, calculator in my brain. When I tap it twice, this is sufficient for one idli. So I have tapped it like this in motion four times to know that this should be sufficient for four idlis. I know it's weird, but this is how you start calculating your ingredients when you love the food and you discover the joy of cooking by yourself. They have just mentioned vegetable oil, which vegetable oil that's not specified. So I'm not going to use two tablespoons. I'm just going to use a little of it. That's it. And the one I have used is the olive oil. Now here comes the trick part because I have not used the whole of the packet. So I didn't know till where I need to fill the milk to, you know, make a batter out of it. So what I'll do exactly, I'll add milk spoon by spoon till I get a good consistency here. The flowy consistency which I usually use to make my idlis. Like this is the 8 tablespoon. My batter has been converted into good flowing consistency and I can see some chocolate chips here. Let me try to show you if I can. Yeah, here it is visible on camera. Now the good thing about this is that everything is added in it. Like everything starting from cocoa powder to flour and to sugar, everything is in it. So that's my idli tray and I'm going to dab a little bit of my oil just enough to cover the tray the lower surface to be very precise you don't need too much of it you just need a little bit so that you can cover the surface and see this guys it looks so rich और एक ज्ञान की बात बताती हूँ जरा खाने को कभी वेस्ट नहीं करते चाहे वो इतना ही सही क्यों ना हो उसी टाइम फिनिश करना चाहिए दिस इज रेडी टू गो इन टू दी माइक्रोवेव बट रिसेंटली आई हैव बीन रियली फैन ऑफ बैगरीज म्यूसली इट इज वेरी क्रंची हैज वे प्रोटीन इन इट एंड ऑल्सो हैव सम आमन सो आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू टॉप इट अप विद माई म्यूसली टू गिव इट मोर ऑफ अ क्रंची फील so basically now it's time that i take my beautiful 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 idlis and put them in the microwave i said that i like my idlis to be little moist 
tasty because the heat of the microwave is very dry. I've kept one mug of water there and that's my tray and let's just roll it. Alright guys, so this is the result and I would say that I did let it go for two and a half minutes. Ye I didn't feel like it was a little raw, so I took it for two and a half minutes. Usually people stay for like a couple of seconds to let it sit and then demold. But you will know that I am very impatient when I eat food, so I am going to demold it now. That's my plate of awesomeness. Some mangoes and some idlis and they are really soft. The muesli on top. Look at this beauty. Tempting enough. It's not just about looking at it. It's good to taste it. And I used to use mangoes with mangoes because my arm was very good to eat. And I feel chocolate and mango go really good together. Although strawberry as well. But for now I had only mango and I'm literally drooling. I don't want to talk about it. I can... I can... Feel the chocolate chips. It's really spongy. And like always, my muesli is complimenting it really well. But I think that if I don't add muesli, it would be very good because it was written in the packet that there are chocolate chips which I actually feel. They are literally melting in my mouth right now. If you want to eat so tasty in the past, you should not do much about it. So this is it for this video guys. It's your girl Jazz signing off for today. And I upload video every single day 6 p.m. IST. Please come join my family. Press the subscription button and the bell icon so that my eyes will come to your heart. So we'll meet you tomorrow. Okay, bye!